JP camp where there is a high level meeting that's happening it's in the presence of the union home minister amit shah we've got uh, uh, the ck patel bupendra patel all of them present there at this point uh, they have uh, 4340 aspirants over 182 seats the first 42 40 constituencies perhaps are being discussed at the moment who is going to have a, a vote and an opinion is it going to be what mr patel decides or is it going to be an influence of amit shah or has it already been decided at by I mean, somebody else altogether the, the way the way bjp functions is that they would have got multiple surveys from the same constituency mm. so three or four sets of surveys one that is that mr shah does Uh, and his team does on the same constituency one that is done by the prime minister's team another by cr patel's team and by the bjp so for one constituency there are four to five surveys that are done and then only the name of the candidate is decided it's not who is close there, to whom that there is, is no priority the, that is given there is Siddhan. also the there is also the uh, yes. pras, uh, sang feedback that sang will also feedback come that will also come on ground siddhant is joining yes. us with more yes siddhant how long has this meeting been going on now well uh, this uh, meeting has just started anand in fact uh, uh, we have been told that uh, 47 constituencies will be discussed today uh, and there are in total 4340 aspirants for uh, uh, for uh, 182 seats so these constituencies also includes constituencies from rajkot uh, morbi narmada tapi valsad dang porbandar hmm. and in fact uh, for next 3 days home minister is going to camp uh, at kamlam headquarters of gandhi nagar and this uh, uh, this uh, core group uh, uh, election committee which was formed uh, uh, in gujarat it was reconstituted after cr patel was made the uh, party president here and it also includes former uh, chief minister vijay rupani uh, uh, bhupen patel and other senior leaders from the gujarat uh, uh, gujarat bjp so as maria was highlighting that there have been multiple surveys done even the teams of observers were on ground and and you know the names uh, are going to be uh, going to be put up in the meeting and after the discussion the names are going to be finalized now the final list uh, at the state level will be prepared after 3 days and then that list will be presented before the central parliamentary yes. board the central election committee uh, committee and from there the final approval will come and the names of the candidates will be announced Right, Sidan, stay on with us. Let's look at the predominant two parties that have been at loggerheads over the last two and a half decades, and how the voting patterns have gone between the BJP and the Congress Party. The Amma.